Hey guys, it's uh, Bearclaw from The Cauldron. I've come to talk to you about a few things. So, first and foremost, what is coming in June? June, we are getting, 100% confirmed, we are getting the new Polar Highlands map, right? And the rest of the agility that was backed up to this month because of MechWarrior 5 shenanigans. That's, that's what we know is happening. Now, for other things we're not really sure of, or they're probably not going to make it into this patch, and they'll probably be pushed into the next patch. So, if you were waiting for jump jets, you're going to have to wait a little while longer, because what Mech 5 did was it delayed everything here by at least a month or two, so we'll see where that takes us. Now, for what's after June. After June, implying that we got all of the agility in is the rest of the changes like jump jets and I think we'll start the quirks there. I, I'm not sure how PGI is going to handle the quirks if they're going to take defensive and offensive or just do them in one go. I'm, I'm highly skeptical about the whole patch dropping at once. This is just because they're still not out of the Mech Warrior 5 woods yet, so hang on to your butts for that one. And I'd like to talk about the current state of the rebalance process, or the rebalancing objective, or whatever you want to call it. So currently, right, weapons are buffed, some mechs have their agility, more mechs are getting their agility, which is going to imply you're going to be able to hit faster targets quicker and you're going to be able to fend off light mechs a little easier, which is going to in turn affect things, especially for lights right now, since they haven't gotten their new defensive quirks yet. So it's, it's going to be really interesting because, yeah, you're going to get hit with a lot of stuff that your mech is just not, just not suited for yet, which is kind of a, a bummer. Especially for me, I I like playing my Locust and my Fleas, and yeah, I'm just, I'm deathly afraid to go out there and get smacked by an AC-20 or a Snubnose PPC. It's kind of scary. But uh, yeah, if that's what you're waiting for, if that's what you're waiting for, lights to get better, you're going to have to wait until at least the defensive quirks of the rebalance, what we're doing. I, I would say that's when you're going to see lights become a little, how would I say, a little sturdier, I would say, because, yeah, currently, they are just, they're like ants, you just step on them with an AC-20, it's pretty sad. But that's not to say the process is perfect, or that the process is, you know, going exactly as planned. I think there was some foresight in the beginning of this, and some skepticism at first is like, hey, why are we buffing weapons first and yeah we're, we're starting to see that uh, skepticism come into action and it's it's kind of terrifying but the good news is that it's not set in stone what's happening now is not permanent right this game is in flux it's in upheaval however slow that upheaval is it's it's going to be changing for a while i don't think the meta will stay fixed for at least at least another six or seven months maybe into the next year we don't know yet but that's just uh how do i say that is just speculation so everything i've said outside of the june patch is just it's up in the air we cannot confirm, we cannot deny, I don't know what's going on, you know, the whole Area 51 thing. Does it exist? Is it coming? Is it happening? Are there UFOs? Are there aliens? We don't know. Now, for some personal thoughts of mine. So, we've been looking at feedback from you guys on the forums, on Twitch streams, and YouTube videos. And the biggest thing I've noticed is when you find something broken, right? It's broken. 
we know, we know internally that a lot of things, well, one particular thing, the streaks, are inconsistent with our design philosophy. And we know that, and a lot of people didn't like those changes. And internally, we know that it wasn't the best idea to go about with those changes. So I would say if, if you find something broken, or if it's not up to par, or if you don't like it, and you think it's broken, don't, don't just keep saying it's broken, because that's, that's not going to get you anywhere. Because when someone says, hey, this is broken, what can I do? I can't do anything with that information. I can just say, hey, it's broken, to the guys on the inside in the cauldron. And again, we can come up with our own solutions, but that's fine and dandy. But what I'd rather see than people spamming, hey, this is broken, hey, this is broken, I'd rather see you guys saying stuff like how to fix him. Like, come up with your own solutions. Maybe, maybe you want to see more cooldown, or maybe you want to see higher damage on the missiles in the streaks. Something of that nature, rather than just this, this broken record of saying this is broken. Because we can't really do much with that information, and if you continuously say it, I mean, eventually we're just gonna have to ignore you. Because, again, saying something is broken, and we know that internally, it just, it's redundant. So, don't take that personally. I would say just try and come up with a more intelligent way of proposing how to fix said problem. I would say it that way. And with that, I think that's gonna end this cauldron vlog. I don't even know what to call it, but uh, yeah, that's it. I will see you guys in the next one.